Hey, what's up, YouTube? David Caparino here. Hope everyone got to enjoy their day today. It's an excellent Wednesday. I had to go out and buy new boot socks. I ripped my sock pulling it up my calf. So I just went out and bought new socks. <laughs> But in this video, I'm going to talk about things you need to remember before you go to Air Force BMT. Bleak Sister asks, why do we need to know the creed and the ranks? Is it because your MTI will ask or is it that it's going to be on the test? Well, I can't mention anything that's going to be on the test, otherwise that's a test compromise and we will both get in trouble. So I can't say what's on the test, but it is also very possible for your MTI to quiz you on these things. Not just the rank, but just anything in your BMTSG actually, and you're going to figure out what this is when you get there. It's a book about this thick and it's just packed of information, and they're going to ask you anything, well, anything in that book really is testable. Other than studying your BMTSG while you're there, which there's going to be plenty of opportunities, you're going to march everywhere and everywhere you go you're going to be studying your BMTSG quite literally everywhere. They will say, what are you doing? If your face isn't in the book, they're going to be like, what are you doing? And you're probably going to pull a 341 and you may get in trouble. If you are not sticking your nose in the book, reading, studying, doing some sort of reading. So yes, why do you have to know the ranks? Why do you have to know the creed? Why do you have to know the Air Force song? Well, in a bigger picture, this all ties into the Air Force, right? So when you're enlisting, you know, you ask yourself like reasons why you want to enlist, but it's not just that, you're part of a heritage, you're part of a legacy, part of a, part of a group of people that are very proud and have a lot of pride in the history of the Air Force. So you're keeping that camaraderie and that brotherhood and that whole idea of being a well-rounded airman. So what does that mean if you're well-rounded? That it's You want to make sure that you encompass all values and aspects of the Air Force. So when you know the song, and you know the creed, and you understand the verbiage behind it, and you remember it, and when you recite it, you're keeping alive this legacy. So when you enlist, you're not just doing this for a job. Maybe you are, but you're also going to be forced to partake in this camaraderie that is, you know, singing the song. Say, uh, reciting the Airman's Creed, knowing the rank structure. There's no way you're going to go through four or six years and just not know the ranks. So yes, your MTI may ask you, but it's also just, I mean, common decency and respect to know your other people you work with just to know their rank. How long are you going to go through the Air Force before you're like, oh, I don't know, Staff Sergeant, or oh, I'm sorry, Tech Sergeant. You don't want to come off like you don't know what you're talking about. And especially if you start learning this stuff now, it'll only be easier to identify these ranks later on. So this definitely isn't something that you want to put off. I knew the Airman's Creed and the song before I even got to basic. And even though I knew those beforehand, when I had to recite them while I was there, I forgot them because I was under so much pressure and I was I was tired, I was anxious, and you know, the MTI yelling at you, you tend to forget these things. You want to make sure that this is like muscle memory to you. And here's something for bonus points if you really want to show that you're you're actually studying. Learning your chain of command before you get there. So you may ask yourself, well, how am I gonna learn my chain of command if I don't know what squadron or flight I'm in? Well, you can start from the president down. Obviously, you're not gonna know who your flight chief is, who your element leaders are, who your MTI is gonna be, but you can reverse engineer the whole thing. So you know who the president is. So also Google search what the chain of command is from the president down. Who's next in line? You don't want to have to waste your time learning something like the chain of command or the rank structure when it's like this is stuff that you could have already been practicing now. So again, when you're learning the Air Force song and the Airman's Creed, you may think like, oh, this is just one of those things I got to do for basic, but I'm not joking. In the operational Air Force, I still have to recite the Airman's Creed and the Air Force song. There's chiefs, generals, colonels, and people of higher ranking that sit there and they also stand at attention and they also recite the Airman's Creed. It's something that it's not just, oh, airmen do, or low ranking people do, or oh, you only do it for training. You, I still do this stuff to this day. And then maybe if you're wondering, well, like, well, I'll just learn it later, I just gotta get through basic. That's, that isn't the right attitude to have. You should still learn it now because even though I learned it when I was in basic, I started forgetting some of the parts when I was in the operational air force and not practicing it every day. So you still wanna practice this stuff. I still occasionally recite the Airman's Creed to myself just to make sure I remember it. Because if you happen to go up for a board or something for an award and they will ask you something about the Airman's Creed or what's your favorite this, that, and the other of the Air Force song or like what's your favorite verse. So if you're asking yourself, well, do I have to know it? Yeah, 
Yeah. So take pride in it. Take it. Take pride in, in something like the Air Force song and the Airman's Creed that it means something when you recite it. I still get goosebumps to this day too when I sing it because I know it's I'm, I'm part of something bigger. There's so many things that the military does and especially the Air Force that they do to kind of boost morale and one of them is the Airman's Creed. So yes, learn the Airman's Creed. Learn. I had to learn the last verse of the Air Force song, but I've heard, I've talked to people that are getting out now after a couple of years, after six years, and they had to learn the whole Air Force song. So I only had to learn the last verse, so you may want to ask a recruiter for clarification. So all you have to do if your recruiter hasn't given you the paper with what to know beforehand, you can just Google search Air Force ranks, Air Force officer ranks. Okay, the officer ranks are going to be on the collar right here. The enlisted ranks are going to be on the shoulder right here. Yes, learn the ranks. And I'm sorry if you're waiting for me to put out a video about them. I plan on cranking those out this weekend. I have all the content made, but I haven't edited everything all together, again, because lately it seems like there's a lot of things going on and I'm trying to juggle 17 things at once. My bachelor's course has just started and you have to write everything, which sucks. So I hope this video helped on what you need to remember before going to BMT. Uh, Bleak Sister, I hope this answered your question and anyone else that was kind of wondering uh, why they have to know the Air Force song or the Airman's Creed or why is that relevant. So hey, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't taken the time out earlier to subscribe, please go ahead and do that now and I'll see you in the next video.